I am in charge of um, telling the audience about some younger fit patients with newly diagnosed CLL. And the first case I'll be covering, it describes a patient with low risk disease. And we consider that to be patients with mutated IGHV genes and deletion 13Q. In this patient population, they really have all options open, uh, but the key takeaway points for this case is that this is a patient population where chemoimmunotherapy might still lead to long-term remissions uh, with regimens like fludarabine, cyclophosphamide, and rituximab, or FCR. Um, however, this has to be balanced with the fact that these are young patients, they're going to live a long time, and there are some potential long-term complications that can be serious, including myelodysplasia or transformation into acute myeloid leukemia, and these um, can obviously be life-threatening. Otherwise, um, there are a lot of other good agents, the targeted agents, and specifically um, ibrutinib, the oral BTK inhibitor, has been studied um, frontline for these young patients and has led to really prolonged progression-free survival and actually um, improves the overall survival um, compared with chemoimmunotherapy agents like fludarabine, cyclophosphamide, and rituximab. Um, of course, um, this uh, regimen is given indefinitely, so that could be a really long time um, for patients with um, for young patients with CLL, and there are potential side effects. Um, some of the side effects um, can lead to discontinuation, including things like bleeding, bruising, atrial fibrillation, um, joint aches and pains, um, and uh, different skin toxicities like rash or changes um, to their nails. Um, and so um, there are some second generation BTK inhibitors. Um, the one that is currently approved is called acalabrutinib. These do have less side effects. Um, however, um, they are still designed to be taken indefinitely. And so um, one potential option um, for these young patients who want to use a targeted agent, um, but they want a time-limited therapy is uh, venetoclax and obinutuzumab. Um, the obinutuzumab portion is given for six months and the venetoclax portion is given for 12 months. Um, and so you have one year of, of, of time-limited therapy um, with this targeted agent, which I think is also a great option um, in this patient population. And so I think um, in summary of that case, the main takeaways are, you know, these young high risk patients have a lot of options. Um, chemoimmunotherapy with FCR is an option and can lead to long-term remissions. It is a time-limited option. Um, the ibrutinib uh, or acalabrutinib BTK inhibitors are really great and efficacious options, but they are um, given indefinitely. And venetoclax and obinutuzumab is a nice targeted time-limited regimen.